we are going to use OpenStack Fuel to deploy multi-node highly available OpenStack environment with Ceph. Make sure that you have Fuel master node up and running. Next step is to create a new public virtual network which will be used for floating IP addresses. So let's add a new network here. Call it public. And assign address 172.16.0.0. Disable DHCP. Enable NAT. Okay, you have you have a new virtual network for for floating IPs. So next step is you need to create three controller nodes, two compute nodes, and three storage nodes for Ceph. So let's start from creating controller nodes. Create a new VM and name it controller1. Choose boot via Pixie. Let's use 4 gigs of memory and 2 CPUs. Let's use 70 gigabytes of disk. Do not allocate entire disk now. First network interface is connected to ad admin network and we will create second network interface that will be connected to public network. So we need to add new network interface here. Make sure it is connected to public network. Okay, it's just a final check. It's connected to admin, it's connected to public. Yeah. Begin installation. So you need to create controller 2 and controller 3. Okay, we created three controllers using the same steps, so they are similar to the first controller we created together. Now it's time to create a new compute node. Let's call it compute1. Let's use two gigabytes of memory and two CPUs. And let's use 60 gigabytes of disk. And as usual, we need to create additional network interface and connect it to the public network. Okay. So let's create another compute node. Okay, we just created three controllers and two compute nodes. Time to create storage nodes. So let's create another VM. Let's call it Ceph1. And let's use one gigabyte of memory and uh, 
one CPU for it. Let's specify 60 gigs here. And as usual, you need to create a second interface and connect it to the public network. Okay. So let's create CEF2 and CEF3 nodes. Okay, so we just created eight OpenStack nodes and Fio node is nine, so nine nodes in total. So let's uh, go to the Fio UI and check if Fio already discovered some nodes. So let's use equipment tab and you see that four nodes are already discovered. So we can start creating a new environment while it is discovering other nodes. Let's, let's call our environment test. We will use KVM hypervisor default settings here and uh, just use Ceph for block storage, for object storage, for image and for ephemeral storage. We, we don't want to install additional component at the moment. Okay. So let's see how many nodes do we have. So we have six nodes. It's time to start assigning them to the roles. Okay, let's see. So these nodes They have 70 gigabytes disks, so these are controller nodes. These two nodes, they have two CPUs and two gigs of memory. So these are compute nodes. Let's assign CFOSD to the discovered two nodes. see if so the only one node wasn't discovered yet so let's see yeah it should be discovered already FOSD and the remaining node number 8. Okay, we are ready. It's time to start the deployment. Start deploy changes.
Okay, let's wait while view is deployed highly available open stack. Okay, the deployment has been finished. All the nodes are ready. So let's let's go to let's go to horizon. Use admin admin for username and password. Okay. 